Do you like video games? Do you like Mario? Well, this is the Dolphin Emo Show. Topic of the day is Mario 64 Machinimas. There was a community on YouTube that somehow tapped into the power of the gods. An entire framework was explosively constructed by which it was possible to make sketches and entire shows using Super Mario 64 as the medium. And it seemed to begin with Mega Man 765. From the get-go, it was clear that Mega Man 765 had a profoundly entrepreneurial mind. On September 20th, 2006, he introduced us to the idea of using colour codes to brand your own Mario. In this video, Super Mario 64 bloopers, we do not see Mario. This man is a product of a phenomenological transubstantiation. This man is Mega Man 765 and we know it because he is blue. It's a beautiful simplicity. This man has been humanized and he is trying to get cake. The frame rate is low, the stakes are high, and the hypercam 2 is unregistered. Then at 4.23, he flicks on Scatman. Guys, gamers, this amalgamation of elements served as a generating function for an entire paradigm. People got to making fucking machinimas, buddy. Mega Man 765 exploded to fame. And in the months that followed, he made sequels and rapidly he perfected his craft. The hypercam was replaced with fraps. The antics were getting more sophisticated. But then he whipped out the fucking clone code. There's a f <laughs> there's this code where you can sort of place another Mario, and that Mario will copy our animations, but he'll just stand in place. So he uses this piece of shit, useless code to get a dance party going. Like even the monkey is in this. But then, do you, have, do you want my cider? I can, you're right. In episode four, he has the clones fight each other. In Super Smash Brothers, you have no idea of the significance of this move. And look at this, boom! Transitions to Mario Kart. I was 10 and that slick fucking transition made my balls drop. I had some low balls. I was popping into bargain booze with my primary school gear on and I wasn't getting ID'd. <sighs> These videos were uploaded September and November 2006 and they've all got around half a million views. But after episode four, it was supposedly over. And it was until August 2007, which must have gotten people fucked up because it has almost two million views. But during that hiatus, other things happened. The seed had been planted. In February 12th, 2007, ACDC Gamer uploaded Super Mario 64 bloopers episode one. Here we go again, boys. ACDC Gamer actually made five of these videos, each with the unregistered hypercam, followed by a 15 part series called Super Mario Reamped. In this show, Mario deals with various precarious predicaments, pulling in story elements from Zelda and Metroid, and he also uses a code that just fucks up all the textures, indicating that the world of Mario has been corrupted by a perilous force. So guess what he does then? What does he do then, Definimo? He makes a he makes a nine part series called Super Mario Corruption, based off Metroid Prime 3. So Mario's just chilling when suddenly Holy shit He's like, wow, the world's gone crazy. So what he needs to do is find all the power stars and extract a poisonous phase on from them. As a consequence, he becomes more and more corrupted, but more and more powerful. Then Toad is like, I just got this DVD in the mail. Whoever it was that sent it said it was for you. Let's see what the video is. Mario, this is Samus Aaron. I know that a phase on Meteor has struck your planet. While you were in your coma for 48 hours, I analyzed your bio signs and found that most of your abilities were enhanced. So under 
So under Samus' instruction, Mario goes to extract the Phazon from the corrupted stars in order to save the world. Okay, cutting forward. In the final fight, Mario gets overloaded with the deadly Phazon. But then Luigi comes in and gets fucked up. I'm going to have to die, Mario. There's no other way. Don't save up. When I die, you'll then be able to take the stars from my body, and my soul will then ascend into heaven. <laughs> no! I'm gonna kill you, motherfucker. <laughs> oh sh- Oh shit. Hey Mario, I don't feel so good. So then ACDC Gamer goes on to make another 15 part series called Super Mario Dark Omen, but this time he replaces Smash Brothers fights with Brawl fights, and he has access to a code that allows him to fix the camera in place, giving him better angles, plus by this point he has also discovered Sony Vegas. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, various people are getting involved when he make extremely serious mega series in which Mario encounters various new characters represented by different coloured Marios, and he partakes in many Smash Brothers battles. Now, at some point, Mega Man 765 started to notice a bit of a pattern, so he uploaded this video in August 2008 called Mario 64: The Drama Movie. I'm a white guy. I'm a black guy. Punches and kicks! Lens flare! Smash Brothers battle! That's Samus. The mustache. Smash Brothers fight! Blah 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 blah! Wario! Blah blah! Infinite power! Smash Brothers fight! Levitate the cold up to the boat in the sky! Smash Brothers melee fight! Lens flare and trippy effects! He's pointing out a bit of a Mario 64 machinima stagnation here. However, a revolution was right around the corner. Mario Bro 3828 was making a cutting edge series called Shining Legend, which had all of the fanciest Sony Vegas effects, but it was still held back by the non-immersive Smash Brothers brawl transitions. But alright, in comes Captain Falcon. But look, he's he's like he's retextured him. It's fucking good. But then came episode 7. So, right, right. There is a code where you can make the entire castle green. So that, plus the fixed camera code, plus Sony Vegas equals epic fucking green screen bonanza. So at last, the Smash Brothers ceiling has been broken, and Mario Bro 3828 brings us into the third age of Mario 64 machinima. Now, there were some crazy cunts who stepped in at this point. Matthew G4 had his show, it's Sal Kowlan and the Seven Spirit Arms. Then in October 2008, ACDC Gamer flipped over the fucking board with this trailer for the third installment of his epic Mario saga. There are many times when evil gains the upper hand against mankind and they try their hardest to conquer it. One day, however, a new and much more powerful evil appeared, which easily overwhelmed dozens of worlds, threatening the well-being of the universe. The beings that this evil force captured were treated with brutality, and all of their hopes and dreams for a better future were shattered. But he only made three episodes. I'm still waiting for him to finish the fucking thing. Now let me close up with this. The Mario 64 machinima community, particularly during the golden years, have demonstrated some absolutely remarkable creative power. The way they inspired each other to throw in more and more sophisticated editing techniques is similar to how scientific communities work to advance the field. 
serious adventure that, wasn't it? Fucking balls to the walls, mind scrambling, hocus pocus, swashbuckling, fandang going, epic dofinimo mayhem. Couldn't have said it better myself. Tune in next time, boys.